Hello, I'm here to bring you some instructional software resources in relation to the STEM field. This varies for science, technology, engineering, and math. This first part I'm going to show you is, is called Teacher Tap. There are various websites out there that will introduce you to other websites that will provide you drills and practices, simulations, and instructional games. As I scroll down this, you can see that it's already broken down by the type of instructional platform in which it's delivered, and also too by content areas. You can see math and science resources. Websites like this, like TeacherTap, are a great place to start so that you can begin to even look for other websites that will give you tutorials and simulations and various instructional games. First one up here is Drill and Practice with Element Flashcards. This was found through TeacherTap, but the specific website was through Jefferson Labs. As you can see listed on the side, I do state the learning problems and tech solutions, but as I go through the website, I just want you to see that it just allows the student to put in options as to how many flashcards. Um, it, it allows them to check their answer. It lets them refer back to the table of elements. And they can even see to how they're doing so far as they work through the flashcards. Now an advantage of this is that you don't have to work as a class. This can be done individually, can be done on in the library, on various computers or even iPads and it allows just multiple users to access this all at once and to work on you know drill and practice time and, and repetition through websites such as this next I'm gonna be moving on to tutorials and an obvious place to go with tutorials is YouTube on YouTube I was able to find a channel completely dedicated to stem it is here called stem tutorials in the resources you can find a link to it but on something like this an advantage is that a teacher doesn't always have time to create videos for students and being that students are they're varied in their learning styles to be able to provide a video about something stem is is, is just good to to cater to the different types of learners you can see here these even on this channel it's broken down by technology HTML basics math videos it just provides a variety of different videos for the students in relation to STEM students can work through this at their own pace they can be played in class or you can even assign these in a flipped environment setting the next thing we're going to work through is simulations in an obvious one are, are simulated dissections this this one was found at frogguts.com um, in, in something like this, in any kind of simulation, there, one of the disadvantages of the learning problem is that a school or a classroom just lacks the resources for every student to experience dissections like this. So having a simulated environment for students to work allows them to all experience it and it allows them to even, as you can see on this website, work through more than just simply frog dissections. Um, they provide different types of animals that the students can work through and they can really dive in to the anatomy of an animal without having to actually have anything physical in front of them. This one even states learning objectives, different activities that can be accessed besides just the dissection, the tools of the dissection that would be used in the simulation, and it just gives the experience to all students to, to have a part of the dissection process in a virtual environment and it does allow them to access resources that they can use in this section I'll be discussing instructional games and I found a great site that allows students to design a cell phone what's really neat about this project is that they are actually instructed by an online character that helps work them through the problem so it poses questions to the student as an online teacher almost so as they work through the simulated instructor will talk to them, guide them, ask them thought-provoking questions, and kind of work them towards a solution. So not only do they get a chance to do things like problem solve and other neat aspects of this kind of project, but they're being instructed by something online, something that they can play back, hear again. Sometimes as a student, you don't always want to raise your hand and ask the teacher to repeat it. But in this case, it gives you a type of instructional environment that you can rewatch, redo. And as you see, we worked through is a great.
place to do research and design in there to see the test results and sales results just a lot of different aspects that work into this instructional design software all right the last section I'm going through is problem solving programs and this one was found through ed heads as well in that it allows the students to experience a crime scene investigation now as you see we work through here a lot of times students they just don't have <clears throat> the opportunity to set up or to work through something such as a crime scene it's pretty extensive to try and put something like that together for the students to participate in this allows them as you see as we work through it allows them to go through the evidence speak with witnesses and build conclusions and, and, and theories about what exactly happened at the crime scene and the best part of something like this is not only does it, it get into the problem-solving piece of instruction but it allows them to to even go back and incorporate different variables such as speed and, and how would it actually change the overall outcome of the project so this goes more than just problem solving it allows the students to to learn through scaffolding and kind of move on to more complex thinking so as you can see overall the internet has multiple resources that you can access there are parent websites that will guide you to other resources that will allow you to find drill and practice tutorials simulations the, the resources are there in this presentation just lists a few in relation to STEM but don't be afraid to look out there don't don't be afraid to research because there are an endless amount of possibilities to bring in these kind of instructional software into your lessons and into your teachings.